ball is hammered to left by Nygaard. This ball is carrying. It is gone. And the Gold Panthers walk off. It is a challenge to describe the experience of the Midnight Sun game. But alas, for those yet to see the spectacle, there are only photos, videos, and words. The atmosphere, the, the crowds, um, you know, the stadium only holds you know, 2,500 people. It's just a it's just a fun event. You have people from all over the world. For the last 114 years, the game has been played in Fairbanks. Every summer solstice, always without artificial light. But this year, with COVID-19, there will be no Midnight Sun game. Instead, this summer serves as reflection of a landmark, of not just collegiate summer baseball, but sport in America. Special for the thousands of fans that make the trek to Alaska a life-defining moment for the young men who don the historic host Alaska Gold Panther jerseys. Our players are new each year, we, and they just can't believe what takes place. Um, just like I said before, the atmosphere is just is just so unique, um, and it's it's something that you're just not going to see. The Panthers have hosted the game since 1960. Many of their players to play under the natural midnight light have gone on to star under the brightest lights. Barry Bonds, Dave Winfield, and Jason Giambi, to name a few. Combining history, tradition, sport, and a natural event makes this game a one-of-a-kind bucket list event. It's been terrific. Every year I've been involved, ever since I got up here in 1980, it's just been an amazing uh, feature event that the town really, really looks forward to. It kind of caps off the whole June 21st festivities here in town. Indeed, the Midnight Sun game is bigger than baseball. It represents a celebration of the city of Fairbanks, capping off the Midnight Sun Festival in a celebration of Alaska. On game day, baseballs halted at midnight for over 2,000 fans to sing the Alaska flag song. It's amazing, uh, and you think it's kind of corny, but it's not. The, the energy that the sun, you know, being up at that hour with that atmosphere, with all the stuff going on around town, it, you, there's just no fatigue sets in at all. The barnstorming gold panners are one of just six baseball teams in the state, alongside the five summer collegiate teams of the Alaska Baseball League. There's no minor league nor college team in the last frontier. Probably because, yes, the majority of the year it's easier to go dog mushing at the Panthers' Groudon Park than play baseball. But in June and July, amongst an everlasting sun and a seemingly different world for collegiate players, Alaska is an unforgettable baseball experience. I think it's just, you know, the kids are looking for somewhere to play throughout the summer to, to match their skills and to get better and learn what it takes to play every day. And then I think you add Alaska to that experience, which is going to be unlike anywhere else in the country. This year as the sun shimmers over Ground and Park and Fairbanks at the stroke of midnight, there will be no baseball on the diamond. But after 114 years of tradition, the Midnight Sun will shine again soon on one of America's pastimes' greatest traditions. For CSBN, I'm Griffin Epstein.